As part of our initiative to keep our company and country highly skilled and at the cutting edge of emerging technologies, Gaisuko through the Gaisuko Training Center Port Moran has partnered with the Ministry of Social Protection's Board of Industrial Training and other external agencies to continue the national training project for youth empowerment. In this week's program, we take you to Port Morant, East Burbies, where equal care was shown in the nurturing and development of the next generation through Gaisuko's partnerships to develop another core of young minds. I am Lyndon Cave, and this is Gaisuko Roundup. From the very land that gave sugar around the world the name Demerara comes the finest quality of cane sugar, Demerara Gold. Enjoy the real thing from the original source, the rich, fertile Demerara coastline where sugar cane has been harvested since the mid-17th century. The result is here for you to enjoy. Wherever this unique sugar flavor is needed, Demerara Gold is the ingredient that will always create a stir. Thank you for staying with us. On July 4th, the Gaisuko Training Center hosted the 8th graduation exercise in the National Training Project for Youth Empowerment. Here are those highlights. Pleasant good afternoon to all. Let me introduce myself to you. My name is Ukeshi Farley. I'm the School Program Coordinator Acting. I'm tasked with the responsibility this afternoon to chair this graduation ceremony. Mr. Floyd Scott, Director of Technical Vocational and Education Training in Guyana. Mr. Richard Mon, Acting Chief Executive Officer of Board of Industrial Training. Mr. Michael Carter, Acting Head of Human Resource in Gaisuku. Mr. Jainwan Sukwal, Manager of Gaisuku Training Center, Port Mount. Management and Staff, Gaisuku, Staff of Board of Industrial Training, Special Invitees, Parents, Guardians, Graduating Students, Ladies and Gentlemen, Good Afternoon. On behalf of Gaisuku, the Board of Industrial Training, it is my great pleasure to welcome you all to the eighth graduation ceremony for the NTPY National Training Project for Youth Empowerment. Welcome, welcome, welcome. At this time, I would like to introduce to you the manager of Gaisuko Training Center, Port Moran, and coordinator of the NTPYE Evening Class Program. It's my pleasure to introduce to you, Mr. Jainwine Sokol. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Welcome to the National Training Project for Youth Empowerment, commonly known as the NTPYE Eighth Graduation Ceremony. Once again, we are extremely happy for the Alliance with the Board of Industrial Training to continue providing the NTPYE program to persons in Regions 5 and 6. This evening class program commenced on January the 7th, 2019, and concluding on the 20th of June, 2019. Total contact time for each trainee being 240 hours. The areas of training were refrigeration, welding and fabrication, electrical installation, motor vehicle servicing and repairs, and heavy duty equipment operator. Above all, it was an accident-free training for this batch of trainees. You guys should be very proud of yourself. <laughs> the quality of training offered by the Gaisuku Training Center is second to none, and we can only get better. 
There are many success stories of this program. Over the years, a few students from the last batch gained employment with ExxonMobil. Some have established little workshop in their communities, whilst others are using the knowledge obtained to improve their competencies and efficiency on their job. Today is another proud day for the Gaisuku Training Center and the Board of Industrial Training as 99 students are graduating from this prestigious institution. Their exemplary performance on the job, together with the achievement of 66 distinctions, 28 credits, and five passes at their final assessment are commendable. Congratulations to you guys. <laughs> Graduates, by choosing to expand your current skills or learning new ones, you will be setting yourself up for a career success. Companies prefer employees who are motivated to pursue opportunities for self-improvement. Earning a certificate from this program can increase your job status, earn a higher salary, and enjoy the benefits of knowing that you are consistently making progress. You are now part of the 946 person who have successfully completed this program. The relationship between the Gaisuku Training Center and the Board of Industrial Training is growing from strength to strength. I want to take this opportunity to thank Mr. Clinton Williams, Chairman of BIT, and acknowledge the continuous support of Mr. Richard Mann, BIT CEO Acting, and his team, the Gaisuku family, graduates, friends, well-wishers, and more so, the staff of the Gaisuku Training Center for the commitment and dedication in making this eighth program a colossal success. Over the years, the Board of Industrial Training has focused on intensifying the delivery of relevant occupational, technical, and vocational skill training with a view to address entry level occupational skill demands for current and emerging industry or services, both the public and private sector. Currently behind this vision is Mr. Richard Mon. He is part of the team that has approved and released finances to meet most of the expenses for this program. Please help me welcome Mr. Richard Mon will be coming to do remarks on behalf of the Board of Industrial Training. A pleasant good afternoon to you all. It is with great pleasure that I'm here today to be a part of this important event, your graduation ceremony, the celebration of 99 individuals who commence and complete this chapter of their journey in self-improvement. It is your decision and your choice to be a part of the program that would have made it successful this afternoon and would have helped you or showed us that you would have embraced self-empowerment. On behalf of the staff and directors of the Board of Industrial Training and the Minister and members of the Ministry of Social Protection, we are pleased to present to you this afternoon your Certificate of Competency in Electrical Installation, Welding and Fabrication, Refrigeration, Motor Vehicle Servicing and Repair, and Heavy Duty Equipment Operation. Brothers and sisters, graduates this afternoon, Successful people stay on course in the face of adversity. They are persistent in doing something despite difficulty or delay in achieving success. We find in today's society people who easily give up. I want to encourage you not to give up easily. I once read that success is 1% inspiration and 99% perseverance. That 1%, brothers, deals with inspiration, with inspired thinking. The other 99% deals with doing persistently. Brothers and sisters, 
I also suggest to you that you need, you really and truly need to take your role while you're employed seriously. People who know that they have been chosen for a job turn up on time to work. I encourage you that as you seek employment to turn up on time, don't be late. People who know that they have been chosen for a job see the role as important for the success of the organization. I don't know what form of employment, I don't know which company will employ you, but whatsoever you employ, you need to see your role as important to the success of that organization. And when you see that and you work, you will be able to go upward within that organization. Graduates, you are recipients of a national skills training program that is premised on generating sufficient skills individual to engage in equal employment and quality employment as well. Information that the Board of Industrial Training has posit that during 2018, several individuals were employed in the oil and gas sector by companies such as Black Arc, Specialty Tools, and JS. JSL Guyana Inc. Having, have engaged these individuals, I want to suggest to you today that you can receive employment by such company. However, don't focus on these sectors only, but be open-minded. I wish to encourage you to become engaged in positive economic activity. Don't just be satisfied with waking up and liming, but find something positive to do. Embrace self-employment opportunity. You may not gain employment right away with an existing company, but you can think about opportunity to create employment. I also wish to encourage you to give of your best always. Serve with dignity by offering your service with substance humbly. Whenever and wherever you are engaged, you are employed, endeavor to be an effective worker. Once again, I congratulate you and I wish you God's blessings as you continue on your journey of success. To add some spice to, to our program today, you have a cultural item by the GTT Plus Star Singing Competition winner, who's our very own Ganesh Kasinath, member of staff. Let's put our hands together and welcome him as he comes. <laughs> for this prestigious institution, he has been consistently approving the NTPYE program. With the vast experience, I'm certain he has something tangible to deliver to you today. Let us welcome Mr. Michael Carter, Acting Head of Human Resource, Kaisuko, to give his remarks. A pleasant good afternoon. Let me join in welcoming you to the National Training Project for Youth Empowerment, 8th Graduation Ceremony. Great things are achieved by a series of small events brought together. I urge each of you to develop your lives in milestones and to see the training completed as one of those small events or milestones to future development. 
The certificate that each of you are about to receive will have, will make you more marketable and will no doubt be used to contribute to the enhancement of your income and towards your quality of life. These skills and certification require, acquired, of which you are all proud of, will no doubt be used beneficially for your personal development and the development of the community from which we emerge. Some of you are all now better equipped to enhance your work and position yourselves for promotion within your workplace, while others to obtain jobs, new jobs, better jobs, and some of you may become entrepreneurs and can generate employment for others. There is no powerful engine driving an organization, community, and a nation towards excellence and success than qualified and empowered human resources. The future of this nation, with the advent of significant oil discovery, is approaching at lightning speed. It rushes towards us in quantum leaps. Each of you has been given the opportunity to be part of that engine of change by the knowledge imparted from those training programs you would have just completed. Gaisuko, as a major employer in the region and Guyana, is proud to be associated with these programs and will continue to contribute to the growth and development of this wonderful region and beautiful country of ours. I urge each of you to reach for the stars, be agents of change, and to live your dreams. Congratulations to all of you, and best wishes for a bright and successful future. At this time, we will have a cultural item by our apprentices, and so let's put our hands together and welcome the apprentices of Kaisuko Training Center, Port Morant. Give 
Today, this task of introducing our guest of honor and speaker is great. Our guest of honor possesses an impressive background. He has made and continues to make fundamental contributions to education and training in Guyana and has remained faithful to the true practice of his profession. Ladies and gentlemen, Please help me welcome this humble, purpose-driven individual, Mr. Floyd Scott, our guest speaker for today's graduation ceremony. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. The Council for Tibet primarily represents the responsibility of CARICOM in Guyana to ensure the issuance of what we call the Caribbean Vocational Qualification. What the Caribbean Vocational Qualification does for us is to provide us with what we call skill certification throughout the region under the CSME program. I want to also let you know as well that you are in a space that one must consider it very prestigious. It gives me great pleasure to be here today to share your joy, smiles, and probably selfies at this graduation ceremony. I'm certain that there were those who would have condemned or prognosed that you are incapable of achieving today. And today's feet, hence, they were able to have to overcome the challenges. And you have proven to them that they were wrong. I want you, as you think about it, to consider yourselves as honorary members of GTCPM family. I'm certain that there were those who would have condemned or prognosed that you are incapable of achieving today. And today's feat, hence, they were able to have to overcome the challenges. And you have proven to them that they were wrong. I want you, as you think about it, to consider yourselves as honorary members of GTCPM family. This family is a very noble group, and you would have recognized the level of talent that are within the GTCPM family. I am fortunate also to be a product of GTCPM, graduating some years ago, some moons ago, and I want you to recognize that once you are associated with GTCPM, a lot are expected. To whom much is given, plenty is expected. We pride ourselves within this family. I want you to simply congratulate yourselves as well. When we came here, we said the pledge. I want you to remember you said it, and we all said it, to dedicate my energies towards the happiness and prosperity of Guyana. I want you to be aware that your journey to prosperity is not complete. A new phase has only now begun. 
I am pleased to announce that Mr. Chandidat Laltu is the valedictorian for the eighth court. This individual has reached the highest level of academic achievement amongst the students in this batch. Please help me welcome him as he comes to deliver his speech on behalf of his colleagues. I'm humbly honored and privileged today to be standing before you as a graduating student of the electrical installation class of January to June 2019, and more so the valedictorian. My six months spent here were adventurous. Since the field of study was a new venture for me, curious, since there was a lot to learn and lecturers and technicians that were readily willing to interact and share their experiences, and memorable, since every day here was a walk down memory lane of the days that I was here as an apprentice. This institution is well recognized for the forging of young technicians, equipping them with the skills and confidence and standards required to face the challenges of the working society. That's all we have for you on this week's program. Thank you for staying tuned, and we look forward to you joining us again next time. Do feel free to check out our Gaisuko Roundup YouTube account for this program and the ones before by typing Gaisuko Roundup in the search bar of your YouTube app on your favorite device. I am Lyndon Cave, and this has been Gaisuko Roundup. Me got to out, 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 Yeah.